All right. Are you? Are you? Okay. This. Okay. Nothing new here because I was playing friendlies with Typo, and um, <laughs> and Pooch comes up to me. He's like, "Get ready." I was like, "Get ready for what?" He's like, "I'm about to jump on your back." I was like, "What?" And then he just jumps. I was like, "Oh God!" On, your, on your back? On my back. So I like <laughs> he jumps on my back, and then he's like, "Give me the controller." And then he takes the controller. I he's I he's literally on my back, just like like, like a backpack. Game? His legs are around me, and like he has the controller in hand, and he's like playing and doing well with Ike against Oracle. He's like your uh, Kazooie. Yeah, dude. <laughs> or your your Lele. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who says he's the only person that can beat uh, Lunchables here? And I said. Well, I can't. I can't not prove that because he's not from here. So we'll see. But here's here's what we do beat them in is PM build because right now we are rocking shovel knight music. Get hype! I love shovel knight. <laughs> you know where, you know where you can see these uh these builds? FXDFW. Oh yeah, this is exclusive, guys. You guys have to come here to play these builds. Up B. Oh, just clipped them, dude. That was sick. So Lunchables already knew that he was gonna come at a, come at that angle from below. He said, "You know what? I got a bomb there, and I got a bomb here. Oh, and if deep. you come onto the stage, I was gonna dash attack you and then send you out." You know why this is a really interesting matchup? Because uh. technically, well, they both use tether recoveries, so they both know how to punish them really well. Uh, Pooch was actually talking about it earlier. He was he was just yelling through his doubles match. It's like, "Oh, look at tether recovery! Too bad I know how to punish, punish that." It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's, he's actually really good. But I think Lunchables is actually better. Did, did you see? Lunchables is pretty good at everything. Did you see how he had the, the Rang out there? He hit him with forward match and he hit him into the Rang and then there was a situation reset again. Oh my god. Lunchables loves playing with his, uh, playing with his with prey. His yeah. yeah. Oh! Wow. He put out that up air anticipating that he was going to come towards him with the... Uh, with What's it called again? The thing where you like do the, the, the bomb and then you like shoot yourself over, just like shot over? Um, What's it called? Yeah, flag tossing. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Typo. Is that what it's no. Whatever. Alright, so. Ooh, money shot! <laughs> I love that. I love the money shot now. Oh, uh, see, you're welcome. That's pretty good. I'm your meme lord. <laughs> I, have to, I have to accept it now. You have to. Does, that, really does do. that mean you're SS now? Oh, God. <laughs> Typo's like, just let me have this. I want this to be the only member of T-Lock in SS. I want this. Back here, him. Oh, up B, nearly taking him. He put excellent job using the bomb, knowing that he would drop down on top of him, that this oh, was going to hit him out of place. Oh, like he's... The bo he does a great job avoiding the bomb and then avoiding the arrow that came after. He just had to be patient. The edge game from both of these guys is just really, really good. That's why I like it when people come out, you know? We, we, we get to see matchups we don't see every week. Yeah. Name the last Samus you've seen. Oh yeah, Mervis. Yeah, he's not doesn't play this game. Yeah, he doesn't play this game. He, he did. He did play really well though. Did for he? His, for his like one DM tournament. Yeah, he plays. He plays really well. He got sponsored by somebody else to come out and do it. I think it was Wonder maybe. Ah, who knows? But yeah, he he did, he did all right. I don't think did we get him on stream actually? We didn't get him on stream. I never commentated the match. Unfortunately, otherwise I would have just talked to him and said, Hey, look who he doesn't one of these things is not like the other. Oh yeah, this melee player showed up for a PM event. What's good? <laughs> okay. Oh, there's the Nair on shield. Pooch. Excellent job catching him with the missile here. Roll, rolling the over there. Super wave dash. That's what I was looking for. The super wave dash. Okay. Did he, and he swaps over. Now you're seeing the, the, the twinkle is now glowing blue instead. So now he's swapped over to the ice property of the sand. Up B, bailing him out of the situation where he was going to have to drop down uh, Nair coming on top of him. Excellent pressure. Even then, like, you're seeing Pooch drop down. He's like, yeah, I, I could go down below, or I could just drop back up and I can start pressuring him again. Oh, he misses that one. He hits the stage. Yeah. That's mm. unfortunate. Oh, my God. I'm just so happy about Shovel Knight music. I'm it's, so it's, happy. It's really, it's really, really good. Can I, like, can I make a confession? Like, go for it. I'm a massive fan of, like, Chip. I love oh, chip tune music. Really good. I love chip tune music in general. Like, I, I honestly, in game development, I would rather play old games instead of AAA titles these days. Uh, yeah, I feel like some indie people put a lot more work into it than like, you know. I feel like the heart and soul is there. Like people studios. Yeah, like exactly. Like I'd rather play indie games than I'd rather play like, I'd rather play old games. 
Because it's like, y'all were doing this underpaid and working with very, like, bare minimum stuff. Like, you guys had hardware requirements versus now where you can do whatever you want, but you choose to make terrible gameplay. Good finish from Lunchables. Taking him off the top. Pooch saying, I have enough. I know how I was going to end. Let's get to this next game. What stage do you think they're going to go to now? What, they, what stage do you think Pooch going to take him to? He found the dreams. Oh, wow. Okay, now That's what he, I was going to say. Yeah, well, the reason why is actually because with Musamus, the upbeat, when you do it, it lands immediately on top, and oh, you're going to act immediately out of it. Right, right. So, like, it, it's really, it's a super strong option if you need a bailout and you're on ground level and you're in the middle of the stage, but it also works if you need combo extenders, if you pop them up, and then you say, you know what, I, I need to take you up off the top, and then you up B, and then boom, you're ready to go. Oop. Okay. Yeah, he, he, he needed to take him to a kind of a small stage because you don't want to play his own game against Lunchables. You win. Yeah, <laughs> he's really, his character is probably the only good zone character. No, I wouldn't say that. Whoa. It's the best one. He actively chose to take two hits of the bomb to make sure he got the height to come back on. Really nice Ooh. recovery there. So the tough thing about the stage is that you also sacrifice the ability to use the uh, the ledge cancel missile spam. Um, oh, that's right, because right, of the platforms. Yeah, you're right, Typo. Because you can use Tether to pull yourself all the way up from the bottom. And I, you're right, I've seen people do that before. Um, I've seen Mervis do it a lot in uh, Melee. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. there's an air. And, and the other thing is that because it's so close, you don't get it. Like, Lunchables doesn't get a chance to use bombs at all. Or he shouldn't. Because you get to go in so close that while he should be pulling out the animation for the bomb, you should be seeing Pooch on top of him trying to attack him. And when you have stuff like Nair ready to go, or you have other uh, quick dash attacks, or even Zare. Zare is a super great option that comes out super fast and it's nice and long and distant. It's great. Actually, Typo, do you know if Zare auto cancels when it lands? Okay, just checking, just checking. The yeah, Lunchables just yelled out the answer. Yeah. He... Oh, okay, cool. Thanks, Strong Bad. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was great. <laughs> oh, this. Oh, thank you, Strong. Okay. I hit him. I hit. I hit Strong with the opposite select because I was genuinely thanking him, and then I was, I was taunting him at the same time. It's great. It took me a while. I'm, I'm a little bit slow right now. <laughs> down tilt. Oh, down tilt can do some shenanigans, dude. If you down tilt them, like pixel perfect, like I think you can spike them. That was that was uh, that was a very tuning thing to do. I'm. Every time Pooch switches to ice mode, it's kind of weird because he talks about, like, I think it was on Twitch chat, or Hitbox chat, I'm sorry, Hitbox chat, he said that uh, just fire is just way better. Yo, shout outs to Boyko. I see you in chat, by the way. All right, shout outs to New York. Oh, oh. get up! And of oh course, yeah, because he's because he's tier link. You gotta you gotta remember. And then Pooch missed the money shot. Like, there's so many things wrong with. It. Yeah. Strongbad's watching, going, this these are the this is all plan. Strongbad's watching like I'm gonna nerf that. He's, I'm gonna nerf he's that. smirking, he's actually he's actually laughing. Look at him. Oh. Kept to shield that back here, holds that edge. He tries to jump back on with a nair. Ooh, oh, that's love. Who seems a bit frustrated. It's hard not to be frustrated when you play the Toon Link. Playing against Toon Link, I should oh. say. He tried to bop him with another money shot. Yeah, playing. You're, nah, you're right, type. Well, playing against him, regardless of the character, is pretty frustrating. This kid's like writes can write like essays on just dash dancing. Like, this kid's nuts. Maybe if uh, Pooch wore a better hat. The hat tech, not not just you're not quite there yet. You're probably right. You're probably right. Pooch falling short to Lord Lunchables, or he's a kid. I don't know if you can be a lord. I guess Texas is better, you know. Duke Lunchables.